if you have a TikTok account, you may have already seen this device. Uh, actually, I think I first saw it on Facebook. Anyways, it looks ridiculous, although not as crazy as some of the other hair things I've tried, like um, that octopus hair thing that did not work. So this is just one solid foam round tube. And you divide your hair down the middle and then you just like twist your hair back and forth on it, secure it at the bottom and then let your hair dry. It's totally comfortable to sleep in. That's normally how I do it. It gives me the best curls. It takes me less than two minutes for sure. Do not have time right now to do my hair. And so you've probably noticed 90% of the time it's just like piled on my head, which I have so much hair. It gives me headaches. You can find it for like five dollars i just filmed a whole segment that i don't even think i'm gonna post uh my hair is wild i have not done anything with it i got up and i pulled my little curler out of it and that's it this is what we have this is what we're working with trust me when i tell you that with like two minutes of effort it's gonna look amazing and i love that curler it's a really gloomy day outside right now it's supposed to rain and even though i have a ton of stuff i want to be doing gardening and everything outdoors i sort of like this excuse sometimes so huxley and i are just sitting here hello how you doing <laughs> uh drinking coffee he's not eating the breakfast i made him that's normal we're still drinking a lot of milk nursing a ton in the night so he doesn't really wake up hungry for breakfast. It'll be a little while. I was plotting out what I need to film going forward because I think I've used up kind of all of the clips of stuff that you've not seen yet while I was gone. And so I have a ton of animals that I realize you guys have not met. So we definitely need to get you caught up. I think I may even do that in this video actually. So that's gonna kind of be my goal for the day. And then I have the AC guy coming around well it said between noon and seven uh you can't have coffee like what kind of time frame is that good thing i don't have anything else going on today so they're coming because for the second year in a row when we've gone to turn on our ac for the first time <clears throat> the upstairs unit just doesn't turn on doesn't fire up it's like 80 something degrees up there i need to run errands but i might just have bet into it he, he's like my postmate. Um, yes, of course we don't have anything like that. We can't even get a pizza delivered where we live. Since he works in town, a lot of times it's easier. I just send him or I'll even do like a pickup order and he just picks it all up on his way home and brings it here. So I might do that. I need a lot of stuff for my gardening. Oh, oh, Huxley. Uh-uh. You can hit the ground, but pay attention. Whack the cat in the head. I know he loves it. I think he's playing with him. So, uh, since we're sitting here, you know what? Let's just, ah, careful. Let's just go ahead and talk about two of them. Both of them. Hello. We have two more cats. <laughs> two more indoor cats. And they are Persian. They look like Mac. In fact, um, I have trouble telling them apart. I have to keep collars on them. Huxley can do anything to these cats and they love it. It's ridiculous. Also, you're not supposed to be on the table. So I just realized, hello, you're not even supposed to be up here. That's why you <laughs> bad boy. These are, yeah, two of the new pets and they were given to us uh, after the owner found out they're both deaf and she bred them and has since said um, after learning that Somewhere around 80% of all white, blue, white, my Alexa's talking, um, white, blue eyed cats are born deaf. She has said that she will no longer, don't do that, breed them. And so yes, both of these are solid white with double blue eyes and 100% deaf. It's actually kind of perfect because like they can't hear how insane Huxley is. <laughs> the screaming and everything else, doesn't scare them. They're really sweet cats. They're your best friends. I kept thinking like one of the dogs would be his best friend. Lots of friendly dogs, but like a loon wants nothing to do with him. Hagrid likes to be near and watching, but like he's not a playful, fun animal. He's really lazy. 
so Huxley's favorite by far are these two cats. <laughs> it's just hilarious to me. They play with him. Yep, see like that. They play with his toys. They chase him. He chases them. That's what he's trying to get him to do right now. Back and forth. Chase me, chase me. What are you doing? Kitty, go get him. Get him. <laughs> uh, so they've been here for a couple months. Buyer beware. Persians in particular seem to be a higher percentage, if you ask me. If you'll remember, Mac is at least half Persian um, and was just given to us in a parking lot. I feel like people question sometimes some of the animals we take in. You know, how did you rescue that? Uh, you know, that's an expensive animal. People pay a lot for that. I remember getting some comments um, like that, even about like the silky chickens. You know, the people buy those. We do, except it was banned at the time that this person had like hundreds of them trying to get rid of. I don't know, just stuff like that where I don't think, unless you're like deep into the pet industry and animal rescue world, I do think people are kind of ignorant to how many animals, regardless of their breed, regardless of their theoretical worth, end up needing homes or worse. I mean, being abandoned or neglected or whatever. And it is shocking. And I think I was even surprised. Yeah. When I got into it and discovered. So this is one example of it. We have beautiful, purebred, amazing versions that were just given to us because they're done. Anyways, <clears throat> the new cats. Two down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, yeah, 21, 20, 20, 21. Animals. Where do you have it, Matt? I better get busy. <laughs> Gentle. Huxley. 